Welcome to our lecture online. This next problem from the JEE main test is an interesting problem and also there's something you need to know and if you didn't know that you might have some trouble with this one. So let's take a look at the question and see. It says an electromagnetic wave of frequency 3 gigahertz enters a dielectric medium of relative electric permittivity of 2.25 from vacuum. The wavelength of this wave in that medium will be, and we're looking for the answer in terms of 10 to the minus 2 centimeters. So this also will require us to make some shift in the answer to make sure that it's in that format. But first of all, let's talk about the speed of light in a vacuum. All right, we know that the speed of light C is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. So in this case, the wavelength, and of course this would be in a vacuum, so let's make sure we put that down. And again, this is just background information. This is actually what we would do to solve the problem, but it's nice to know this. So the wavelength would be equal to the speed of light divided by the frequency. So in this case, it would be 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by the frequency of 3 gigahertz, which is 3 times 10 to the 9th, which is equal to 0 0.1, that would be in meters, because it's standard units, which is equal to 10 centimeters. So in a vacuum, this wave would have a wavelength of 10 centimeters. Now, if the wave now enters into a medium that's a dielectric, now we know that the wave will essentially slow down, the speed will decrease, and the wavelengths will become shorter. So we're looking for an answer that will be less than 10 centimeters once we're in a medium. Now also what we need to know is that the speed of light is equal to 1 over the square root, uh, the uh, square root of the electric permittivity times the magnetic uh, permeability. Now, what has changed? What they're telling us here is that E is now equal to 2.25 E sub naught. So that would go in here. So now the new speed of light, let's call it the velocity in the medium, is going to be 1 over the square root of 2.25 times E sub naught. But what about mu sub naught? They don't tell us anything about the mu sub naught. And this is where you might get stuck. Now, since they didn't mention anything about the mu sub naught, maybe it doesn't change. And it turns out the magnetic permeability doesn't really change much, just a small amount once a wave enters into a medium. So the dielectric medium does not affect the magnetic permeability. It does affect the electric uh, permittivity. And so therefore, we can simply say that it's approximately equal to this. And so the only difference is that now we can see that V is equal to 1 over the square root of 2.25C. And therefore, uh, yes. So what's the square root of 2.25? Well, it would be 1.5. So V is equal to 1 over 1.5C, which is 0.667C. So we can see that the speed of light slows down to a velocity of 0.667, the speed of light. And that means that since V is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, and the frequency stays the same, that means if the velocity drops, the wavelength needs to drop to the same amount. So if we go down to 66.7% of the speed of light, that means the wavelength will also be 66.7% of the original wavelength. So that means that the new wavelength going into the dielectric material is going to be equal to 0 0.667 times the original wavelength, which was 10 centimeters. So 0 0.667 times 10 centimeters would then be equal to 6.67 uh, centimeters. And so that's the answer. Now, however, notice that the form of the answer is times 10 to the minus 2 centimeters, which means that this is equal to 667 times 10 to the minus 2 centimeters and so they're looking for the number 667 to go in there. So that would be the proper answer for this particular question. Again, the background information is I would know that the speed of light equals frequency times wavelength. So the wavelength is speed of light divided by the frequency which can be calculated to be 10 centimeters. We then realize the answer will be less than 10 centimeters. 
how much less? Well, we know the speed of light is equal to this, and therefore the velocity in the medium will be 1 over 2.25 times this because we realize that the new permittivity in the dielectric is 2.25 the, uh, the electric permittivity in a vacuum. 1 over the square root of 2.25 is the same as 1 over 1 1.5, so we have 0.667% of the speed of light as the speed to the dielectric, and therefore also 66.7% of the wavelength if the wavelength was in, in, uh, in air or, of course, in, in a vacuum. And so that's where we get the 6.67 centimeters converted to the proper format for the answer. And that is how it's done.